students, Heather Casper from the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. Today I'm coming to you from the galleries. We're actually closed today, but I wanted to show you that when you do come to visit, you might see a lot of grown-ups wearing these masks. They cover your nose and your mouth to help, to help keep everybody safe while they visit. The museum is open again, so we hope you and your grown-up can visit us soon. We're not gonna have Toddler Tuesday for a little while yet, so I wanted to share one of the paintings in this gallery. It's right behind me. Let me spin you around so you can see it. There it is on the wall. And I know that's a little bit hard to see, so we'll pop the picture um, up on the screen right next to me. But I wanted to let you see where it hangs in the gallery space. I'm in the American Gallery. I wanted to share this picture with you and then read you two poems because I think that poems and paintings go really nicely together. This painting was painted by N.C. Wyeth and it is titled Landscape Study in the Woods. N.C. Wyeth kept this painting in his house his entire life and that's probably because the two girls you see playing in the forest were probably his daughters. You can see that behind the girls is a meadow and uh, N.C. Wyeth painted this meadow using lots of dots and dabs of different colors like shades of pinks and greens. He portrayed uh, this kind of woodsy scene as being a great place to kind of discover and explore. And we can tell that he loved being outside in nature. There is a poet named Theodore Retke, who's from Michigan, and he loves nature too. This is a poem I'm gonna read you called The Waking. I strolled across an open field. The sun was out, heat was happy. This way, this way. The wren's throat shimmered, either to other, the blossoms sang. The stones sang, the little ones did, and flowers jumped like small goats. A ragged fringe of daisies waved. I wasn't alone in a grove of apples. Far in the wood, a nestling sighed. The dew loosened its morning smells. I came where the river ran over stones. My ears knew an early joy, and all the waters of all the streams sang in my veins that summer day. It's fun to imagine what creatures might live in this stream that we see um, in the foreground of the painting or in the front where the girls are. What kind of things might you see in a stream? Maybe a little garter snake, or a fish, or a tadpole, or even a turtle. Here's another poem by Marilyn Singer about what it might be like to be a turtle on a hot summer day. This poem is titled, Turtle in July. Heavy, heavy, hot, heavy, hot hangs, thick, sticky, icky, but I lie, nose high, cool pool, no fool. A turtle in July. Thanks for listening to those poems and checking out this painting by N.C. Wyeth. We hope you'll come and visit us soon. Take care.